Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. I'm going to pre-warn you guys that I am burning sage and it's going crazy right now. So my smoke detector might go off. And if it does, I apologize and I will be pausing you so you don't have to listen to it while I take care of the issue. <sighs> All right, Spirit and Angels. Oh, this is your monthly reading for the month of August. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for Capricorn. Anyone with Capricorn placements or anyone else who's guided here to watch this reading on YouTube. Capricorn, for the month of August 2020, please send through the most important messages for the people that need the messages the most. For anyone with Capricorn placements that is guided here to see this reading on YouTube, what do we need to know the most for August 2020, the entire month? All right, great. Let me see if I can calm this down just a little. I got um, mer, mirth. Is that how you say it? Mirth. I got that, that going. I had frankincense going, and now we have sage going. This is a really um, cleansed area, <laughs> guys. Hopefully, spirit will come through and send some really interesting messages through. All right, Spirit, for Capricorn, what do we need to know for this reading for August 2020? Capricorn reading. Capricorn. Okay, we got something here. Temperance flew out in reverse. All right, what else do we need to know for Capricorn? Anyone with Capricorn placements for the month of August 2020? Okay, we got the sun, and we got the ace of pentacles. Beautiful. All right. Really nice. What else? Wow. The moon and the queen of swords right in the middle. What else do we need to know? Please, we got the page of wands. We got the eight of chalices. This is a nice reading, guys. I'm going to put that back because that came out funky. Just two more cards, please. What else do we need to know for the Capricorn reading? This looks like it's going to be really nice. What else do we need to know for Capricorn reading? Five of Wands reverse. That's exactly how we would like to see that card how many is here? Okay, this is a lot more than I normally take, but let's look at them. Oh my gosh, really? This is beautiful. All right, let's talk. This is a really nice reading. All right, we've got Temperance in Reverse. That's the first card that came out, and it's your only negative card. You do have the moon here. Now, the moon could mean that there's secrets or something that's not known, or but everything looks so good. I feel like it. Now, look at the sun and the moon. Look how beautiful they look together. I really don't get any bad vibes off this. I really feel like... I feel like you're getting clear on something where there was no clarity before. You're getting clear, and that's great news. You have the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands. If this is you and a child, everything looks really good, if it is. But I feel like what's happening here is there was something out of balance here before. Something... Um, this might be something you had to wait for for a long time. It involves the Ace of Pentacles. That Ace of Pentacles doesn't come along very easily. You know, it takes time with the Temperance reversed. I feel as though you waited a long time for something to be cleared up. And I feel like it's coming. There was a lot of murkiness, unknown. Um, I feel like that's getting cleared up. This is really great news. You're getting very clear on something. Um, there's like truth and clarity coming in. Something's going to help you walk away from emotional baggage that was holding you back, holding you down. Five of Wands, if there was anybody giving you any grief, you were fighting, arguing, bickering. If there were people trying to be competitive with you, whatever it is, whatever this is, I feel like it's all done, gone in the past. This Five of Chalices for me is always really nice too. Even though this person's grieving, she's had loss, she's, you know, regretful, whatever it is. The fives can mean a lot of things, right? Whatever it is, she's healing. Look, she's actually doing some kind of a ritual to heal from whatever this was. And you've got 
Five of Wands in reverse. You've got this particular Five of Chalices, which I don't find to be a bad Five of Chalices. It's more of a healing Five of Chalices. And then look what you have with it. Nine of Chalices, Six of Wands, overcoming it all and having wish fulfillment. Whatever happened here, this is really, really a nice reading. All right, let's look. Some kind of truth came in. Ace of Swords, this is victory and truth, has come in in a situation. It could have been a third party situation. It could have been something that was very draining emotionally. And now that you've got the clarity and the truth, you're able to overcome it. There could have been troublemakers that caused this issue. Four of Pentacles re reverse, we're releasing something. There could have been someone who wasn't genuine with the Knight of Chalices here. This is all at the bottom of your deck. Could have turned your home and family upside down with the Four of Wands and Six of Chalices here. Four of Wands came out reversed. This could be all about um, a water sign woman, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This also could be, um, this person could be very emotional about um, some kind of family matter, home matter, having to do with children, anything. Eight of Swords reversed. Somebody's getting released out of feeling so trapped in whatever this was that was weighing them down. Of course, Capricorn, this could be you coming through as the Queen of Chalices. This also could be your partner or somebody you're dealing with. Something's definitely getting better here. There's some kind of truth and clarity coming in. Um, there's been an emotional drain, but I feel like that's being healed. This is very healing. Even the Nine of Cups looks very healing. Look at it. She's like meditating. She's doing something, uh, some kind of a ritual here. There's somebody who's healing themselves and overcoming issues, possibly with other people who were troublemakers. That's all done. It's all done. I mean, there, there's nothing really to clarify on this reading. There really isn't. We come into this with something that was in balance or a lot. I feel like it a, was a long time coming. There's a new beginning that's beautiful. There's great news. Okay, let's look at it. Let's get a little idea of what all this is. I think we're going to go with this. Okay, we use the um, Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Let's use the Celtic Universal deck to get to the bottom of what this is. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Let's talk about this Capricorn reading. What's going on here, please? Can you please tell us about this reading? Help us get some clarity around this reading a little bit here to find out what's going on. I definitely want to know about that. Uh, the Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. I feel like they could be mother and child. They don't have to be. Or they could just be the news that you're getting and the clarity you're getting here. Tell me about the Queen of... No, tell me about the Page of Wands. What's going on here with the Page of Wands for the Capricorn reading for August? Yep, coming out of the fighting. Look at this. The Five of Wands is reversed. These are those troublemakers. We're not going to do that anymore. Uh, the Two of Wands reversed. Somebody was stuck. They were stuck because other people were holding them back. There's great news coming in. Um, no, this could be a child. It doesn't have to be. I'm not feeling that as much, especially after seeing this. I feel that like, this is good news. Troublemakers are behind you now. You don't have to worry about them. Let's see what your clarity is here. Queen of Swords, please. Why is it here? Yeah. You're going to know who betrayed you. Ten of Swords. You're getting clarity. You're also going to know that it's over. This thing that hurt you, if so, these troublemakers who betrayed you, you're going to find everything out. It's all going to be clear now. All right. Let's look at... Um, let's look at that three of chalices there. Tell me more about the three of chalices reversed at the bottom of the deck. Why is the tree of, three of chalices reversed? Capricorn reading, August 2020. Yeah, you're going to get a real clear view of what you've been up against. This seven of cups is always about, you know, confusion, illusions, um, needing to make a choice. I feel like you're going to see what you're up against and, and I almost feel, let me get one more on it. Can I have one more on the Three of Chalices reversed? You're going to get clarity. I feel like you didn't know something. And now, like I said earlier, there's some kind of clarity coming in. It's going to be good news, though, even though you went through something. Tell me about the Three of Chalices reversed. 
Capricorn reading for August. Nope, that's too many. Oh, well, maybe it's not. Oh, it's not. It's only two. All right, we have uh, two of pentacles again. I mean, I'm sorry, ace of pentacles again. Same card, ace of pentacles. See it here? Okay, so you have the ace of pentacles again. And you have the seven of wands reversed. So you felt like you literally thought you were up against a monster you could not defend yourself from. You felt like you couldn't defend yourself from all this stuff coming at you. You felt like you were battling a monster. I feel like this has been very emotional with that Three of Cups. There also could have been a third party, you know, troublemaker. I'm not seeing that, but it could have been. There's a new beginning coming in for you. No doubt about it. This is solid. This is stable. This is steady. This is going to be something that comes along with a lot of truth and a lot of clarity coming in. I like it. This is really nice. Yeah, I feel like you um, were dealing with somebody or several somebodies who were really not good. All right, let's look at the temperance reverse here, please. Why is the temperance reverse, Capricorn reading? Why is temperance in reverse? Oh, wow, that flew out. We have the, oh my gosh, we have the tower reversed and the five of swords. Somebody was taking advantage of you. Somebody was one-upping you. Somebody wanted to argue, fight, um... What's the word I'm looking at? A bully. This is a bully. And they caused you a tower in your life, but that's over with. It's done. All these fives reversed. There's complete change coming into your world here and now. These people, whoever this was, I feel like this was definitely group related. For some of you, it might have been one person, but for the majority of you, this was toxic people, period. These people were not nice. All right, let's look at the moon. Why is the moon here, please? Magician, reversed, and the wheel. Wow, very interesting. All right, so there was somebody who was a trickster in this situation. Someone was manipulating the situation. I do feel like there will be, um, with the sun here, the light's going to be shown on this. Like I said, you're going to get clarity about what happened here about the betrayal. And it's going to turn the wheel. You're going to have a brand new cycle come in be because of this. The tower already blew up. Okay, so you've already had a complete flattening. But where you're going is amazing. Ace of Pentacles twice. And you're about to find out wh what happened here. Give me the sun, please. We might as well go for it. Why is the sun here? What is this? The sun. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, we got the Queen of Cups reversed again. She was back here as well in the reverse. Queen of Cups reversed and the world. This drain, this emotional drain is over. Completion. You survived it. You lived through it. Every single sign got the same story of a big huge graduation day and overcoming the cycle they were in that was painful and hurtful and you know cycles are hard they're hard for all of us somebody here is overcoming a cycle that was completely draining and they're overcoming it in a really monumental way the sun and the world this cycle drained you but you're overcoming it all it's beautiful you're headed right towards ace of pentacles Let's talk about the Eight of Chalices. We're going to walk away from all this negativity. Just one, please. Tell me about the Eight of... Did I say Ace of Chalices? Eight of Chalices. Why is the Eight of Chalices here? Please, Capricorn reading. August 2020. Eight of Chalices, please. Why? Okay. Third party. Definitely. All right, this is the lover's card, but in this deck, it's all about somebody who was third party, who was a troublemaker. All right, so you're walking away from all of this. This was an emotional, and you're making you're making a decision to walk away from this, or somebody in this situation is, oh, look, bottom of the deck. I cannot kid you. Eight of cups again. You're walking away. You're walking away from the emotional end of all of this, the baggage, the bull, the troublemakers. Look, when I see third party, this does not have to be love. This can be some kind of person who caused you drama and trauma in some portion of your life. 
and it doesn't have to be love it could have been anybody it could have been a workmate a partner could have been a friend a family member and it could have been more than one you have a, the potential for a, for i'm going to say three to five people that caused you issues let's get five of wands reverse please why is five of wands reverse capricorn reading this is done can I just get one, please? It's too many. Oh my God. Well, let's look at it. It's only two. Look at this. We have the Empress in reverse and the Three of Swords reversed. Another three. This absolutely was heartbreaking. And look at the Empress is reversed as well. All right. This could have been. I want to get the Empress reversed and find out what she's all about. Tell me about the Empress reversed. Because she's coming up reversed, I feel like this Empress could be the same person as the Queen of Cups, or this could be that outside person, the troublemaker. Tell me about the Empress reversed with the Three of Swords reversed. Why is it here? Empress reversed. Capricorn reading. Queen of Wands reversed. All right, so this is probably an Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman. She could be baby mama. She could be the ex-wife. She could be whole, uh, could be your mother. This person is uh, the one that caused the trouble. Queen of Wands in reverse is my least like queen. I don't like the Queen of Wands in re reverse because she could be ruthless. She could be someone who lacks confidence. Who, uh, But when I see it with all this betrayal and this and that and the other, I have to say for most of you, this person is your mother or an ex-wife or this is a, a woman could be anybody in your life who has caused issue who could be financially drained who could be greedy who could be ruthless who could be angry who could be bitter this person could be the opposite and be the one who's been um who's lost her confidence lost her beauty feels like she's not good enough so keep that in mind so just flip it if that if you feel like this is you and i'm and you're going that's that's me and i wouldn't do that just flip it because this could go either way <clears throat> but for the majority of you excuse me this person um could be healing from the other ruthless people okay so keep that in mind whichever way it works for you ace of cups also came out reversed so we have an opportunity for a new beginning here, but it's not here yet because we're just finding out something. Somebody up here, you know, this queen of swords, um, which is usually you, the person I'm reading for is usually in the middle. So this would be you Capricorn coming out as the queen of swords, very clear, very decisive, very intelligent, knowing what's going on, getting some kind of clarity about something devastating that happened to you at the hands of another woman i feel but you're going to get some kind of information or something that's going to help you go into a new cycle you're going to find out about the betrayal you're going to find out about the trickery you're going to find out about the secrets you're going to find out about any of the troublemakers that this person involved in this i feel like you're going to find out everything and you will have a new beginning it's just not here yet okay it's on it's on the horizon but it's not here yet Queen of Swords is known as the queen who's been through a lot. Well, you put it with the Ten of Swords, this person's been through a lot. Um, but I do feel like there's good news, there's clarity, there's something coming in. All the negative cards are in the reverse. You're done with the tower. It already happened. You're done with being bullied, being taken advantage of. You're done with this betrayal as well it's right in the middle of your reading because it's talking about the whole reading has to do with this queen of swords being betrayed all right you're done with the bullies it's in reverse you're done with troublemakers you're done with it you're getting good news you're done with the um secrets the lies the bull this stuff it's all done the wheels coming in to change it all you're walking away twice spirit had to tell us eight of cups you're walking away from any troublemakers you're walking away from anything that hurts you that left you emotional you're done with anyone who is not um ethical you're done with troublemakers again twice you've had the five of um wands reverse you do have a new beginning that could come in for you this would be a lot of happiness this is like life regenerated 
it will come in for you eventually but you're you're ending an old cycle first that's happening first world 10 um what else did you have you're definitely ending an old cycle no doubt about it everybody is i told everybody months ago this was coming july august and into september huge cycles that you've been waiting i i kept getting this feeling of july august and into september people would be ending cycles that um happened that they've been in for years some of you months but i mean over and over and over again i kept getting the message to give to you guys to let you know that huge cycles were going to end things that you thought you were stuck in things that you dealt with for a long long time family issues friendship issues work issues big huge cycles you guys are graduating from because you did the work all right it's, it's happening for a lot of people there's so many people that are going to see huge changes in their life if you're not seeing them already all right some of you had already happened back in july or even maybe a little bit before july we are healing and we're getting wish fulfillment here we're overcoming all of this overcoming it six of wands nine of chalices this five of chalices like i said i see it as a beautiful opportunity to do the work this is part of that work that you did that's allowing you this beautiful new cycle wheel of fortune world graduation new cycle brand new and what's it taking you to the ace of pentacles solid stable steady this is gorgeous all right guys so i mean i have to say beautiful reading beautiful we can see you were betrayed we can see there was third party people maybe even five party people involved in this we can see you've been through some real garbage garbage but it's done it's done i mean if you're not completely done this you're about to be you're about to go into a gorgeous new cycle ace of cups could come in for you ace of cups can be anything really joyous and happy it doesn't have to be love it could be but it's going to be something you're going to love let it come in let it come in something joyous all right let's get on this what do we need to know about what comes next here please for this capricorn reading what comes next wow there it is i will tell you that um who had this gem and i just had this this betrayal it's done it's over but they had both of these this one was reversed though so if you're dealing with a gemini okay or if you have it in your chart this cycle's done all right what else do we need to know please for some of you you could be walking away from a gemini with this lover's card coming out even though it's a third party card you still could be walking away from a gemini or what a gemini could be walking away from you i have to say that or you have it in your chart but it, this is funny how um jim and i had these two cards exactly here this was reversed and that was there meaning betrayals over either way i feel like it's over because this was in a different spot in the reverse having it in the middle just tells us what you've gone through and that it's the queen of swords that went through it so that's you or a gemini around you i feel like for most of you it will be you because normally the card in the middle if it's a person is you normally all right let's look so we know this cycle of betrayal is over over we know that a new cycle is coming in finally you've waited a long time for this what do we need to know here please what comes next for this capricorn reading what's next oh my goodness seven of swords this is the seven of swords where somebody gets caught in a trap somebody who was being a bully let me get one on that seven of swords please tell us more for capricorn tell us more about the seven of swords got to come out the right way though tell us more about the seven of swords please walking away oh this is just about someone walking away give me one more please all right i see what's happening yeah oh wow all right so someone's being called judgment has stepped in here see archangel gabriel blowing the horn this is phoenix rising from the ashes as well um somebody is being told to walk away from something go get run allow the cycle of betrayal to end and get out of there again walk away walk away look at all these cards of please walk away 
They're all cards that could represent walking away from something. And it's all being divinely guided to you. Yes, maybe you're getting released from something that you felt very stuck in before. Can you give us a little more information about all these walking away cards and judgment? Walk away from the battles, baby. You overcome this by walking away from it, really. There it is, right? You overcome it. Six of Wands. That's wish fulfillment here. Yeah, you're just being told, go, go, go. What else? Is there anything else we should know about what comes next? I mean, we can see that the cycle ends, new beginnings come in, and a brand new cycle starts. Can you tell us anything else that would be helpful for Capricorn to know? It's Queen of Cups. We got the Queen of Cups again. All right, what do you want us to know about Queen of Cups? For Capricorn, some of you might have uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. And that's why Queen of Cups keeps coming out. Tell us more, or you're just going to feel more at peace, uh, more happy. We've got a new beginning in um, a career, possibly, for some of you. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands that flew out while I was talking. We also have the Three of Swords at the bottom, so I want to mention that. That could be a healing card. All right, can we have one card on this Queen of Cups, please? Capricorn reading. What about the Queen of Cups? Okay, give me one more. Yep, look at that. This is two people coming together. For some of you... You will be walking away from a group of troublemakers, but there's somebody who's got your back, and it might be this Queen of Cups, all right? Or you are this Queen of Cups. That's going to be different for each of you. For some of you, this could have been a work situation. There's a brand new, really nice beginning coming in for you. Beautiful, in fact. You might have dealt with a bunch of crappy people, and you might be going to a brand new job where you're going to meet better people. Um, this could, this is going to be different absolutely for each of you. So you all are going to have to use your own intuition too, as to where this is heading to and who's who, because we had a lot of people come out in this reading. All right, angels, what do we need to know for this Capricorn reading for anyone who will resonate with it? Wow. Whew. Okay, just keep in mind those cards that came out at the end. I want to just show you again. We have somebody who comes together with another person. It has to do with the Queen of Cups. Okay, somebody who stands next to the person who's been beaten up and says, I got your back. And look how surprised they look because they've been so beaten up. But they're the wounded warrior. And they win in the end. This is the Wounded Warrior card as well, but it's the winner. Six of Wands. Somebody comes in. This can be platonic. This is the Two of Cups, okay? Comes in to stand beside this person. It could be a work situation. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I am suffering from allergies so bad today. I am so sorry for coughing in the mic. All right. There's some compassion coming in here. There's clarity coming in here. And someone's going to stand in their integrity right beside you. If not, you will be the one with strength. This is really interesting. The end of this reading has to do with someone who actually, I feel, saw the mistreatment going on and stepped up for this person. Either for this person or it is this person that's stepping up for someone. All right? You guys tell me. I'm really excited about this reading, though. I feel like somebody saw someone being mistreated, and it, I bet you somebody might actually get caught in this news for doing shady things. End of betrayal. It's done. It's done. Archangel Gabriel has stepped in to call judgment on this. Has, call, has called judgment on it. All right, you guys have got to let me know. Interesting reading, good reading. I mean, it, it leads to someplace beautiful. So hang in there. Ace of Pentacles twice, the world, the wheel. Six of Wands, one of my favorite cards in any deck. There's victory even we had in this situation, but it didn't come. It came at a cost. Somebody had to go through a lot of bullying and a lot of bull. 
please tell me what this is, you guys. Um, I really am looking forward to hearing somebody say that's my reading and this is me heading towards everything good now after what I went through. Please like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you need a personal reading, my information is directly beneath this video in the description box. Just reach out to me by email. The prices are there. Everything's there. Okay, guys? Have a great month. Looks like it's going to end up really, really good for you. Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.